what's good silicon squad it's me stefan from silicon insider and today i'm gonna teach you how to optimize your windows for a very quick performance so let me be real honest with you here if you are using a laptop or a desktop with a four gigabytes ram um <laughs> i think you should upgrade to an eight gig or a 16 gig or a 12 gig or something because the four gig ram is very i mean it will make your pc or your desktop your laptop or however you are using very slow windows takes about 2.78 gigabytes of ram so the rest is for you so imagine if you are running on about 1.2 gigabyte of ram it's going to make your laptop or your pc automatically slow so you feel me that, that's what i'm trying to say so let's get to the main point so it's very it's very simple actually it's not very complicated i've written out all the stuff you are going to need here 10 percentage 10 percentage and prefetch you just gotta open your windows button here and then you search for run and you can just um, use this uh, windows plus r windows plus r is also going to open it for you so the first one you are going to key in is temp temp and then you click on ok you can just click on enter click on ok it's going to open is in here for you if you do this for the first time um, it's going to open a dialog box which asks for i think administrator I, I don't know is it password or yes or no something so you just have to click on yes if it's a password you have to enter in your password so you select all this go then control a select all this you can just use your you see mine is a lot here it's been a while since i've i cleared this it's been a lot here so you click on Control A, and then you delete this once and for all. Delete. You can also use Shift plus Delete, which is going to delete it permanently without going into the recycle bin. So Shift plus Delete. And then you see, are you sure you want to permanently delete 700, 273 items? So all these are stuck on your RAM, and I think it's particularly in your buffer memory. Which is a part of your RAM, so you just have to go on and delete it. All these stuff on your RAM, making your PC very slow. You know what I mean? And then we'll continue. Delete all this. All these are small, small temporary files which make your PC slow, but you wouldn't know. You feel me? So once this is done, you can wait for it to finish, or you can just um, go to the next step. Control. Okay. You can skip some of these. Um, these default files you can do this you skip these files some of them cannot be removed so you, you just gotta skip them so let's go ahead and go in for the next one so the next one will be percentage temp percentage okay that one is also going to open up a whole chunk of files which you have to delete okay so you just Use the control E to select all of them and then shift plus delete to delete everything permanently. Okay, good. So you see all these files, unnecessary files. You can skip the ones which are being used right now. Some of them are default files, as I was saying, so you cannot remove them. And then for the last one, which is prefetch, you also search for the RAM. You can just use control plus no Windows plus R. To open the RAM and prefetch, prefetch right there, and then OK. Prefetch. These files are still deleting. I don't know why it's stuck at 99, but it seems weird. Okay, so you delete all these prefetch files. Shift plus delete. Delete all this. Skip the temp there, the, the default ones. Okay. Then I, I have no idea why these are stuck at 99, but well, okay. I think it's doing something in the background or something, but. If it happens to you so you just leave it there it's going to finish by itself 
okay so the next thing you are going to have to do is that if you are doing something which requires i mean a lot of memory or you are multitasking i suggest you always use your laptop on high performance my laptop is a gaming laptop so i don't have high performance the high performance is called gaming so in this case mine is gaming but you will definitely have a high performance so anytime you are doing something which requires i mean a lot of ram or which you see more multitasking you you, you i mean you select your high performance you get it don't use power saver power saver is not recommended at all unless maybe you are watching a movie or something you feel me so select your high performance over right here mine is a gaming laptop as i said so i don't have high performance i have gaming okay so gaming so the last one i'm going to teach you is defragmenting that one is also simple you search for defragment see it opens up right over here the fragment then, then you open it and then i have an ssd and i have a hard disk so if you have an ssd and I have a hard disk i suggest you optimize them both so for the first one you click on optimize it's going to run just by itself no need for you to worry yourself kicking it back again and then you click on optimize and then you can change the settings over here too you can do it daily it will run this um, fragmenting process daily you feel me so you click on okay and then you're done the ssd is quite healthy so i think uh, it didn't have to take long but the my hard disk i don't think it's all that healthy so you see that the fragmenting process is still continuing so you just wait out for all these um the deleting and the optimization to finish and then you're done and then you click on you're done Ob obviously you have changed your settings over here to daily and then when you close so guys as i was saying if you have a 4 gb ram please update your ram upgrade your ram okay you can use an 8 gb or a 12 gb it's going to be really helpful i hope you enjoyed this video subscribe like and comment all right have a good day